Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the more unique desktop environments in the Linux world, Budgie. If you've ever wondered what Budgie is all about, or if it's the right choice for your setup, you're in the right place. So let's break it down and see what makes Budgie special. Budgie is a desktop environment for Linux that focuses on easy personalization and a familiar, fast layout. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, where the desktop is tightly integrated with the operating system, Linux gives you the freedom to mix and match components, and Budgie is one of the many options you have. It borrows a lot from GNOME, the most widely used Linux desktop, but with a more traditional approach. Budgie was initially developed for Solace Linux, with its first public release in 2014. Since then, it has evolved into a desktop environment that works well across various distributions. So, what sets Budgie apart from other desktop environments? For starters, it offers a much deeper level of customization right out of the box compared to GNOME, where you typically need to install extensions to tweak things. Budgie even showcases layouts that mimic Windows, Mac OS, and Ubuntu. While it might remind you of KDE Plasma in some ways, Budgie is generally lighter on resources. One of Budgie's standout features is the Raven sidebar, which combines notifications, your calendar, currently playing music, and more, all in one place similar to what you might find in recent versions of Windows. Budgie's development pace has slowed down a bit in recent years, with recent releases focusing more on bug fixes than new features. However, there are some exciting developments on the horizon, like Budgie 11, which is currently in development. This upcoming version promises support for the Wayland Display Server, a new control panel, and third-party widget support for the Raven sidebar. While there's no set release date for Budgie 11, work is steadily progressing. If you're interested in trying out Budgie, you've got a couple of options. You can either install a Linux distribution that comes with Budgie pre-installed, like Endeavor OS, Fedora's Budgie Spin, or Ubuntu Budgie. Alternatively, if you're already using a Linux distribution that you're happy with, you can easily add Budgie to it. For example, on Ubuntu, you just need to run a couple of commands in the terminal. For Arch users, the process is a bit more involved but still straightforward. After installation, just log out and select Budgie from your login menu. And that's a quick overview of the Budgie desktop environment. Whether you're looking for a customizable, lightweight desktop, or just want to try something new, Budgie is definitely worth checking out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux content. Have you tried Budgie? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.